Okay, so this short little video is on chemiosmotic theory. So chemiosmotic theory, basically lots of long words, but you'll have come across this in any way that we make ATP. So this is going to be in light dependent reaction, could be in oxidative phosphorylation, and you'll be probably familiar with this guy here. And he's going to sit in a membrane. And this molecule here is ATP synthase. It's responsible for making all of the ATP pretty much that is ever been made on Earth. So no matter what the species, this is how we make ATP. Even if it doesn't photosynthesize, it lives in a hydrothermal vent down in the oceans or in a cave and metabolizes hydrogen sulfide. This is still this still does this. So we're going to form lots of protons on one side of a membrane and not so many on the other side of the membrane, so we're going to form a proton gradient. Those protons are then going to diffuse down their concentration gradient via or through ATP synthase, and this process here, the diffusing process, is known as chemiosmosis. So this is basically going to be the diffusion of hydrogen ions through ATP synthase to generate the magical compound why do we do it all? To make ATP. What do we make it from? Adenosine diphosphate and inorganic phosphate. More or less, this is going to be how you need to remember chemiosmotic theory. I'm going to just put a few skeleton notes down here just so we can put it in words. So we can say that it's an electron transport chain that causes a proton gradient and which then diffuse through ATP synthase. Remember what an electrotransport chain is? An electrotransport chain is an electron flowing through proteins in a membrane. So electrons lose energy. I'm going to put ETC, electron transport chain, and we can say this energy So we basically are going to use, in fact, let's add it onto this diagram here. We're going to have some proteins in the membrane and the electron is going to be flowing through them. It's going to be losing energy. It's going to be cascading down. And that is going to be used to pump these protons across in the first place. So we can say this creates a proton gradient. Can say the protons diffuse through ATP synthase. And this is chemiosmosis. It's a bit like osmosis, obviously, so it's from high to low concentration. It's passive because we've used the energy over here to build up the gradient. It's like chemical osmosis, if you like. And then obviously, what do we use? What's the outcome? Why do we do this whole thing? This provides the energy to combine ADB and P. And to make ATP. To get more biology videos from me, subscribe to the channel. And of course, don't forget to try out my complete A-level course in the free trial over on the Taylor Tutors website. Up next, you can transform your grade in about an hour with my grade transformations playlist, or you can watch the video that's been magically selected for you from the people at YouTube.